What's going on YouTube, Geosno right here, so in today's video I have some great news. For those of you who still need a jailbreak for iOS 9.3.5 or 9.3.4 on the 64-bit devices, yes, as far as I know there was no jailbreak for that version for 64-bit. And finally one has been released, it's called Kokashi I think, which is uh, Japanese, and it was released a couple of days ago. Now initially I didn't make a video about it, because really, at this point who runs iOS 9.3.2 or 9.3.5 on 64-bit device. Everybody has probably updated at this point. But anyways, if you're still one of those people who have one device, you would be pleased to know that there is a jailbreak now available and it has been updated yesterday as well to the version 1.0 beta 2. And it looks basically like this. It's a Japanese style jailbreak created by Dora, I think. Yeah, Dora 2 iOS. And you can get it from here, Dora 2 iOS.web.app, Kakeshi jailbreak.html. And it looks like this. It comes in EIPA format and you can just sideload it to your device and it would work. The supported devices include the iPhone 5s, the iPhone 6, 6 Plus, iPad Air 1 and 2, iPad Mini 2, 3 and 4 and the iPod Touch 6 generation. If you still have one of these on 9.3.5 or lower, like 9.3 or 9.4, these would work. Now many of you probably remember there was a jailbreak for 9.3.5, so what am I talking about? Yes, there were actually jailbreaks for 9.3.4, 9.3.5, 9.3.6, for example Phoenix in here and then we have the wall that supplies, which is Home Depot but these were only for 32-bit devices, so the 64-bit devices were never supported. As far as I know, there was never a jailbreak for the 64-bit devices on iOS 9.3.5, which is completely odd because there were vulnerabilities available, there were vulnerabilities that could have been ported to work with 9.3.5, I have no idea why we never made one. But yeah, apparently Secura Development decided to develop one and update it, and the last update released yesterday, 23 of March, actually has support for CD installation and enabled TFP0 patch. So this is a full jailbreak running perfectly fine and it also includes a KPP bypass. So it's one of the old style jailbreaks which require the KPP bypass, it's not KPP-less. So depending on how the KPP bypass is implemented, you may see some reboots and you know crashes here and there when you try to read jailbreak. If you want to associate it with something, Yalu jailbreak would be one of the best candidates. That one also used the KPP bypass and you know you would have somehow that kind of stability but probably a little bit better because now we know a little bit more about KPP than we did back on iOS 10. But really it's an interesting project, it's interesting to see somebody create a jailbreak for 9.3.5 after this many years without a jailbreak. And yes, it's a full jailbreak with Cydia and everything, if you want to get it you can definitely do so. It's semi-untethered, which means that you're going to have to read jailbreak after each reboot, just like Phoenix and just like Yalu and just like Electra and Uncover and any other jailbreak nowadays. So it's a pretty interesting project, it's pretty good that there is finally a jailbreak for the 9.3.5 on 64-bit. There really was a huge hole in there somebody had to fill and apparently Sakura development decided it would be a good idea. So yeah, if you're interested in a jailbreak for 9.3.5 on 64-bit devices, on any of these devices, you would be good to go. Do keep in mind, however, as far as I know, this jailbreak only supports 4K devices, not 16K, so the ones with the 4K memory page size, which are those in here, the iPhone 5S, 6, 6 Plus, iPad Air, iPod Touch 6 and so on. So definitely check it out, I'm going to link it in the description down below, but yeah, it definitely looks interesting, it's nice to see something like this being created after many years, I'm not sure how useful this is going to be for many of you, but do know that it exists if you need it. So yeah, thank you for watching, I am Geosnow, till the next time subscribe to stay updated, and peace out.